the hardest thing that I've ever done. Indonesia, a country with a lot of islands. 17,508 to be exact. It has a huge population, like nearly 300 million. The average Indonesian living in the countryside can make as little as $75 a month. The locals keep costs low and can afford to put food on the table. But how can they afford to put their kids through school? What will they do when they are in need of medical treatment? Well, for most, it's simply not an option. But what if I told you you had the choice to make $15 to $20 a day, easily triple and up to quadruple the wage of the local area? Well, this is what many courageous men have chosen to do, but not without a massive cost. This is the story of the men who live in smoke and fire. All right, it is right now 8 p.m. and we are just four hours away to starting this crazy adventure up to the top of the volcano. But it all starts right here with an invite to stay with one of the miners. This is Supano. Yeah. Thank you very much for having us. Supano has been working in the mines for roughly 15 years and he has so kindly opened up his home to us. He's introduced us to his family. His family has cooked for us. And we're so lucky to have this experience right now. This might go down as the hardest thing I've ever done. You ready for this thing? Oh, we are about to do the toughest job in the world. So how can I be ready? Of course I'm not ready, but I have no choice. You ready for this? I'm just gonna film you trying, so yeah, I'm, I'm really ready. Yeah, you're, although this camera gear gets pretty heavy. Ruby? <laughs> and of course, there's Yanto right there. <laughs> God, it's so interesting because in Holland we try Soul, you are too close to that car. Boss, hey, boss. Uh, 50,000? Yes! No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. straight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Getting ready for bed. Quick little toothbrush. Quick little pet of the kitty. I need to get some sleep because we have to get inside the volcano before the sun rises. Otherwise, we won't see the blue flame. Got three hours of sleep. I'll see you later. So we're just about to get our day started. What time do you normally start your day? Saya mulai kerja dari sini area parking mulai dari jam satu sampai di parkiran kita berjalan sampai ke ijen jam dua tiga puluh. Good sleep, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, good. You it. The restless never sleep. Yes, am I right? Okay. Three hours. It's all we need. I didn't sleep at all though. Did you sleep? Awesome. Next to Jantos, we slept together. Okay, okay, gas, 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 to really understand what these guys go through, we have to go through the entire cycle. And right now, we are at the start of a long, long day. We're making our way to the foot of the volcano. It's not often that you get cold in Indonesia, but this morning is one of those mornings where this coffee is gonna hit so right, and I am layered up. It's probably like five degrees. It's pretty cold. This is the secret. Supano, is this how you carry heavy weight? Yeah. Let's hope this is my key to get up. Now begins the work. We are joining Supano on his daily hike up to the crater. And it's about two hours from the parking lot. I don't think it matters how often you do this. You're gonna be tired. These guys also give people rides up the hill. Literal machines. There is no rest points. It is just straight incline. And you do this what, three times a day? Yeah. You're constantly smelling rotten eggs. There's no fresh air the whole way up. It smells like sulfur. <sighs> Should I grab my basket? Yeah. Well, I signed up for this. We have made it to the top of the crater. I'm exhausted and I haven't carried any weight. 
but you haven't seen the hardest part yet. <laughs> hey man, you're late. We're supposed to be here at three. We will not. We're just tagging along on today's work day. This is like they do it every single day. And typically when they get to the top of the crater, it's time to power up, get a bit of energy because the hard work is just about to begin. That'll be hopefully enough to power us through our hike because it's gonna be hard, <laughs> really hard. How are you feeling about the idea of hiking this? With weight on my neck? Yep. I can only laugh about it. Oh my gosh, hey? It feels like we're descending into Mordor. This is like some Lord of the Rings stuff. Come on, come on, come on, guys. We have made it to the bottom. And with that, the sun is just starting to come up. As soon as the sun comes up too much, you will miss out on one of the most amazing things there is to see here. And that is the blue flame. My eyes are watering, my throat is coated in this smoke, and every now and then you just can't help yourself. <clears throat> you just gotta let out a big cough. But these guys are down in here every day. You can hear them chipping away, basically cutting down the sulfur blocks and making them into a more manageable size. One of the really interesting things is that blue flame right there. And the reason that happens is because if you were to take a blowtorch to a piece of sulfur, the fire would actually be blue. So essentially that's the chemical reaction right now. And it's insanely stunning, but a very hostile work environment. And you can hear just how hot this water is. It's all fizzling right now. Now you might be wondering, why is there sulfur inside a crater and who's buying it? Well, my buddy Johnny has been doing a ton of research on the region to better understand why this job exists in the first place. Johnny, take it away. Hey guys, Johnny here. I've been diving deep into why volcanoes in Indonesia exist. Indonesia has more volcanoes than any other country. And that's because this strip of land right here sits on a plate that is moving underneath another plate. As it happens, it melts this magma and pushes it up through the surface, creating tons of volcanoes. These cracks in the earth don't only release magma, but also all sorts of gases, including sulfuric acid. Under Kawa Ijen, there is a huge deposit of sulfuric gas that is leaking out of this vent in the earth. The people here have put ceramic pipes in this vent so that the gas condenses into a liquid, goes down the pipe, and then cools down in the lake to become a solid, at which point they can harvest it and bring it to town. After they bring it to town, they often sell it to a factory that makes sugar, and they use the sulfur to bleach the sugar white. And yet, this is one of the last remaining sulfur mines that is being done manually. It's backbreaking work, and it's all made possible because of this huge crack in the earth. Okay, back to you, Christian. Good luck. Oh, that's painful. It burns. When that happens, you just have to leave? Difficult, too much smoke. We've gotten out of the cloud, but the wind has carried it towards us now and the skyline has turned yellow. Right now my lungs have a bit of a lasting burn in them. It's insane. I can't breathe at all. My eyes feel like they're about to pop out of my head. Dude, I can't stop coughing, even when the smoke's not here. So how many kilograms is this? Uh, 40 kilos. 40? Yeah. And so how much are you taking? Uh, 70. 70. 70 kilos. Yeah. So this is light? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can I try? Yeah. I'm gonna need to like uh, summon my war spirit, so I'm gonna keep this in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think this is my limit. This is definitely my limit. Wow. Oh man, that hurts. How do you do this? It hurts so much. It's so hard on your back. <laughs> I feel like I need two hands. I think I will crash. Very difficult. Yeah, very, very heavy. Very strong mind. You've chosen to be a miner, 
What are other jobs that you can do in East Java around this area? Cuma penghasilannya satu-satunya belerang ini di sini. Kalau di Banyuwangi agak sulit cari kerja. Murah. Murah lagi ndak seperti ini. Why do you do this work? Yeah, I working for a uh, uh, family. And how much do you make for one trip up with 70 kilograms? 70 kilogram. 1,250 wow. for one kilo. So how much do you make at the end of the day? Land the day uh, total. 300 total. How old are you? 35. 35 years old. So a 75 yeah. year old just Finish. retired. Yeah. I think we can all agree that this is not the kind of job people are doing till 75 because they're passionate about. It's just do or die. It's either work and put your entire body on the line. Be willing to accept the health consequences of working inside a plume of smoke and fire or not be able to put food on the table for your family. The main reason we came here was to show you guys their story, to give you appreciation for just how hard some people have to work to make their living. But this is also about humbling myself and recognizing just how good I have it. So I want to fully put myself in their shoes as much as my body will allow me. I can't do 75 kilos. No, 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 I got it. By the way, if you're wondering what sweater I'm using and t-shirt, it's Scott's clothing. This is the clothing I've been wearing day in, day out through my travels. They have the comfiest tees, sweaters, sweatpants. It's the kind of clothing you buy once and can wear for many years to come. And so whether you're going into a crater or on a date, for me, it's one of the top choices. If you want to see it for yourself, check out the link down below. It is literally the clothing I wear every single day. If you see me wearing a white tee, a black tee, and it's snug and nicely fitted, it's Scott's clothing. Okay, I can go heavier for the next 10 meters. You're taking two steps. Okay, no, 30's good. I'm gonna stick with it. Thank you. It's now or never. And Supano, yeah. how much is yours? 60. 60, oh my goodness. So here we are, maybe just shy of 100 meters in, and I have to say, this is excruciating, and mine is literally half of his weight. I'm swaying side to side. They do not make enough money for this work. Break time. You got? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Soleiman, hurry. Oh my God. 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 Oh feeling totally destroyed and embarrassed and humbled because in my daily life I'm like I'm a trainer I'm always pushing people you can do more you can do more and now I have to push myself oh, okay I'm strong okay I can see how extremely painful this is for them oh my god okay but do you want to try it with the padding no it's okay so I can take yours for you you want to look or are you a little too ashamed to see I can, I can take yours, yours for you no I like, uh, seriously, I need a workout today. Yeah, we gotta give him a break. Soul's complaining, I got it. Ruby, you cannot flex like that on me. <laughs> I want real friends in my life. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The final stretch. The final stretch. I have no choice. Everyone is gone. So there's no break, there's no help. It's just me. Surviving to the fullest. We are right at the finish line. It's right there. Sometimes the best way to understand someone is just to walk a mile in their shoes, to be in their shoes for a day. And these are some tough shoes. And to carry their baskets. These ain't no croc shoes, that's for sure. You know. Respect. Respect. So much respect for you guys. Unbelievable what you do. Guys, what I want to do is Cam is going to be coming back here to this village in probably a couple months. I want to be able to give back, not just to these guys, but also the community. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is for every like on this video, I'll be giving 10 cents. So if you leave a like, it's that easy. You're giving 10 cents to the community. 
I'm sure that money is gonna go a long, long way. So uh, thank you so much guys for yeah, opening you. up your home yeah. to us, yeah. for inviting us to experience what you do and for being patient because <laughs> we took a while. And look who it is, Yantu! I feel like I need to share this guy's contact information. He doesn't really speak English, but as long as you like hearing the word Yanto, his name, you're gonna love him. Hey, All right, thanks guys. Bye bye. Take us. care. Yeah. Oh my God. For some reason, my ears are. How do you feel, so? Pumped. And destroyed at the same time. Physically destroyed, mentally super energetic. Yeah, it's the way to be. Yeah. And welcome back to Bali. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more from this beautiful country, this place that I call home, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to do your part and contribute to a minor, all you have to do is hit that like button and 10 cents will go right back to that community. And I also wanted to say guys, this was a collaborative project with the amazing Johnny Harris. And so if you want to go see his video after, it's just linked down below. I highly recommend it. As always, let's get lost again in the next one.